Hi, welcome back to my mom life. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordan, and today we're making Christmas bread. Let's get started. Here are all of the ingredients that we need to make this Christmas bread. We need flour, eggs, some vanilla flavoring, and I'm also going to use some almond extract. You don't have to, but I think that would taste good. We're gonna need some white sugar. In this bowl, I have baking soda, baking powder, and salt. I know it's hard to see because it's white in a white bowl, but it's in there. I have one stick of butter, some whole milk. I have some sour cream. This is just gonna keep the bread nice and moist. And then I have a bunch of sprinkles that's gonna add a lot of color to our Christmas bread. I'm gonna go ahead and set all of this aside and get out a mixing bowl and we will get started. The first step is to mix the butter and sugar together. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in our one stick of butter. I did put mine in the microwave for just a few seconds to soften it because I forgot to set it out earlier. But if you remember, set it out so it becomes room temperature and then you don't have to get it a little too soft in the microwave like I did. Now I'm gonna add our one cup of white sugar. Now that I have that combined, I'm gonna add in our three eggs. I'm also gonna add in the sour cream right now and the vanilla and almond extract. When you're using almond extract, if you've never used it before, a little bit goes a long way, so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit. It adds a lot of flavor without adding a ton. You, you can definitely go overboard with the almond extract, so be careful with that. So I'm gonna mix this, and then we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. Before I continue mixing that, I'm gonna add in the whole milk. I forgot to add that in. You don't have to use whole milk. That's just what I'm using. It adds extra fat, which will add moisture to our bread. Now that we have all of our wet ingredients mixed together, we're gonna go ahead and add in the dry ingredients. If you wanted to, you could combine them in a separate bowl beforehand. I'm just gonna um, do it like this. It's not as, it's probably not as thoroughly mixed as it would be if I did it in a separate bowl and mixed it, but it's totally fine, it's gonna work. So I'm gonna add in our dry ingredients and we're going to mix that together. Once it's thoroughly combined, then we're gonna add in our sprinkles. Okay, it is thoroughly combined, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold in our sprinkles, and then we're gonna pop this into a greased loaf pan. I'm also gonna line mine with parchment paper just to make it easier to get out of the pan. It's gonna go into a preheated 350 degree oven for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean from the center. And I keep calling this Christmas bread because it's baked in a loaf pan, and I think it's fun to call it Christmas bread, and that is what the original recipe called it, but it's really a loaf cake. Um, it's like a funfetti loaf cake, just Christmas version. So, we're gonna go ahead and get this into our loaf pan.
Okay, so this is ready to go in the oven. I will see you back here when it's finished baking. Okay, our bread or our cake, whatever you want to call it, is done baking. I have it cooling in the fridge. It, it's been cooling on the counter, but I'm, I popped it in the fridge so that it would cool faster. And now I'm gonna make the icing for the top. You really just are gonna make an easy, basic powdered sugar glaze slash icing, depending on how thick it is, is what you would call it. So um, we're gonna make it more of an icing because it's gonna be a little thicker. So I'm just gonna eyeball the powdered sugar. You want about a cup of powdered sugar. And then I'm just gonna add a splash of milk. I don't wanna add too much, otherwise it'll get really thin on me. So I'm gonna go a little at a time and just add a splash and then I can always add more. Okay, it looks like we're gonna need a little bit more. If you have heavy cream, you could use that or if you like to use something other than dairy, like a dairy alternative to milk, you could use that. Um, I think I added a little too much, so now I'm gonna have to add in a little bit more powdered sugar. That's what happens when you don't measure. But I will have measurements for you in the description box. I'm also gonna have the original recipe linked. I did um, tweak it a little bit, so I'll have my version as well as the original link for you down in the description box. I can't wait to show you the cake it looks so pretty okay that's better it's a lot thicker and it's going to hold up a little bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside until our cake is ready to be iced and then we will put it on top and I'll slice it so you can see how pretty it looks on the inside Once my Christmas bread had cooled down completely, I was ready to put the icing on. So you simply just pour it over, really, unless you made way too much. I kind of did make way too much and it poured all down the sides, but I think it made it look extra pretty. So you can do it however you want. If you want a little bit of a thicker icing, just add a little bit more powdered sugar, less milk. If you want it thinner than this, you can just add a little bit more milk. It's up to you how you want it but I went ahead and just poured on the icing that I had over the whole loaf of Christmas bread and then I added some more sprinkles on top. Here is our finished Christmas loaf cake or Christmas bread, whatever you wanna call it. It is absolutely beautiful. Those sprinkles inside just pop and give this beautiful color throughout the bread and that icing on top is just the perfect finishing touch to this cake. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Don't forget to check the description box if you want the recipe. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around and I'll see you all my next one. Bye guys. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased